What's going on guys? Welcome to the 2.4 Android tutorial. Again with me Travis and my bring back. What we're going to do is we're going to finish up our application even though it's going to contain a lot of like errors so it'll crash our program but uh, we'll also explain everything that we've done. Um, yeah the errors don't worry about that we're talking about passing data so that's what we're focused on uh, but let's just finish our application here real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up an integer a equal to our width variable dot get text um, dot to string and obviously we're getting an error because this is returning a string value and we're looking for an integer value so let's convert it real quick we're going to put everything in parentheses and we're going to refer to the integer class oh man dot value of and that's just going to convert a string value into integer value all right, pretty basic. Um, and then we're going to create a new integer value. We're going to label this as B, and we're going to refer to our height button. Um, so now we have two integer values, both whatever is within our uh, our button text. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to refer to our area text view. We're going to say set text uh, equal to A times B. Uh, plus we need some quotations there or something. We're going to just put uh, square feet for example And there we go. So now when we save this program and run it So let's go to our button one here. We're going to put 12 and our button two. Let's say like 17 hit button and uh, lastly Calculate we have something like 204 square feet pretty awesome, but let's say we you know didn't enter anything so it's going to try and get the you know, it's just going to blow up our program, basically. So there are some errors, but again, we're just going to explain the interaction between passing data. So what I've done is I've created a little, you know, layout here. And it's full of grammatical errors, but don't worry about that. So let's we'll kind of walk through everything. So basically, we have two classes, the main class and the numbers class. Uh, this is our main class here, and pretty much what's important is when we push a button. When we push a button, we're going to set up a new intent which is going to open our numbers class as you can see here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to put some extra information or you can think of it as a basket. Um, and this basket is going to hold some information, uh, numbers and width. So this, this might be kind of confusing but when you look at it like this, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. And this is supposed to be numbers as well down here. So we're passing this basket called numbers and it's a string value that we're passing in the basket. That string value is either going to be width or height. Uh, so we're going to put one of those two values within this basket called numbers here. We're going to attach that to the intent. We're going to put the extras into the intent, which is our numbers class that we're opening. And then we're going to start an activity for result. So uh, now we open the numbers class, but not just open it. Uh, we want to return something. So we start the numbers class for a result, or callus, cals, um, for a result. So we open up the numbers class, we add the basket of awesomeness to it. A basket of awesomeness is also considered as numbers in Android, or whoa, what, man, too many beers. It's also considered as extras in Android. So as we put extras, you can think of this as a basket of awesomeness. Put a basket of awesomeness into this intent. Uh, the basket name is going to be numbers. The value or whatever is inside that basket is going to be, for this example, a string called width or a string called height. Okay, so we're just passing a basket to the numbers class. So let's open that up. And again, the only important thing for passing data is when we press a button. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the information from the edit text. We're going to also see what intent opened it up. So it's going to be like, oh yeah, the main class opened this intent or open this class. That's what we're doing. And then we're also going to look for a basket called numbers because we, we set this up. We knew there should be a basket called numbers or name numbers when we open this class because again that's our only option to open the numbers classes. We have a basket called numbers as well here. So once we open the numbers class we look for a basket of awesomeness called numbers which we will find because again we added the numbers basket here so we'll look in the basket and see what the contents contain whether that value be equal to width or whether that value be equal to height 
because again, those are the only two things that we could put into the basket called numbers. So uh, again, we get the message of the basket. So we're going to refer to the intent. We're going to get the string extras of the basket numbers because again, we put string information into this numbers basket and whatever that value is, we're going to say that's called message or MSG. Now, uh, again, if basically what these if statements are doing is we're comparing, you know, whatever the contents of the basket is with either width or with either height. So again, you can't just compare strings like message equal equal uh, width or something like that. Uh, it's going to give you an error. You need to use a, a string method that compares two strings together and see if they're equal. Now, if we passed in an integer value, we could do that equal equal there. But again, since we're comparing two strings, we need this uh, content equals method. So we reach inside the basket called numbers. If it's width, we're also going to attach again to the intent that opened this class or attach to you know our main activity. So we're going to create a new basket called width info. And we're going to pass whatever is within our edit text, which we called s here. Again, that's referring to the string value of our edit text. So that's the value of width info basket uh, that we're going to pass back to our main class. So again, our main class, we open this activity for a result here. So what we need to do is we need to set the result and say, hey, man, everything was A-OK. -okay, and uh, here is your intent with the basket that you're looking for. Check it out. It's cool. And then the numbers class is going to jump off a cliff and kill himself because he's like, hey, my job is done. They're looking for a result. I gave them a result, and I'm out of here. Peace, homies. And he, uh, you know, finished himself. Again, the same with the height. We're going to create a different basket called height info uh, and pass in the same, you know, information from the edit text and set the result to OK and finish. So basically what's happening is our main class opens this class, and we can either send one of two different baskets back width info or height info. So let's go back to here. For example, if our BOA or basket of awesomeness was packing some heat of width, uh, we would put some extra info. Um, so again, something like this, string width info, whatever is within the edit text. And then we would set the result and say everything was A-OK, -okay, uh, like I said. And then we would finish the activity because we found the result we were looking for and it'd shoot us back to the main class. So let's jump back to the main class. Whenever we use this method here, the start activity for result, we also want to have another method that looks for a result. So, you know, if we get a result back, this method will catch that information on activity result. So the main class is all like, it's about effing time, numbers. I've been waiting for a result from you. And uh, like I said, there's a method that waits for a result after we call the start activity for result method. Uh, this method is called on activity result and we get three things back uh, the most important one is this intent data that we get back so again in the numbers class we added another basket to it whether that be width info or height info we added that to the intent and that's this intent that we're catching here so then we're going to create an if statement here of the intent called data right here a third parameter we're going to get the extras and if it contains a key called width info or if it has a basket labeled with info on it we're going to reach inside that basket get the information so if we get this basket called width info we're going to refer to our width button of again our main class we're going to set the text of that button to again our intent we're going to get the string extra from the basket width info or if it contains the key height info uh, we're pretty much going to do the same thing for height info over here so again, this on activity for result, this method gets extras. If the extras uh, name is width info, then we will get the value of the data. Again, something like this string width info. This is uh, the stuff from the edit text of the numbers class. Lastly, we'll set the text of the button to the value of the width info, uh, the stuff in blue up here. All right, makes sense. And so one thing that you guys could do, I mean, obviously the only thing that we've been passing data between the two classes were both strings, both times. First time we added a, bu a basket called numbers, we passed in string information in that, in that basket. But we could have also said like i.putExtra. And as you can see here, we can have a string name with 
all different types of values. So if we want to pass in like a float value, we could also say like float info or whatever you guys want to label it. And the value could be like 1.24, 1.23F, as you can see right here. Um, I made this tutorial earlier, it's like 25 minutes long. Didn't feel like editing it, so I just thought I'd redo it. Um, but uh, so we could pass some different types of information in our baskets that we send off to our start activity. Um, so again, all we're doing is we're passing, passing one basket into the numbers class called numbers. And whether that string value is width or height, it's going to return another basket back depending on that string value here. And the basket it's going to send back is either width info or height info. Uh, and if it was width info, we're going to get whatever is inside that basket and set it to the text of our button. So hopefully that clears up some things. I know it's still probably a little bit confusing, but the more you use it, the better you're going to be at it and the more it's going to make sense. I can only explain it so much. Hopefully it makes a little bit of sense. Just continue with the series though, because uh, even though we'll get into some more complicated topics, it'll be a little bit easier for me to explain. Uh, I tried my best here, so give me that. Um, also one last thing that uh, I didn't explain is, let's see, subscribe and like this basket of awesomeness of a video, mother effa. So with that, I'll leave you guys and uh, make sure you check out the next tutorial. Catch you later. Uh, thanks again for watching. Peace. Whoa, what? Man, too many beers. <laughs>